into my house. Right? So you finally actually came into my house. I know. Can you show me how to do that? I know. Nice to meet you, by the way. Yeah, I actually, you look familiar like you're one of my friend's daughters or something. I'm telling you. Every time I look at you, I look, I see somebody I know. You look at that. You know, I get that from everybody. I just have that type of face. Yeah. Uh, my cousin, I mean, uh, actually there's a, her name's Gwen, uh, another girl named Gwen that I went to school with. Have fun. Bye. I guess they didn't pick up the trash today. Huh? No trash pickup today. I didn't get her face today. That's all right. Buddy? Hey, buddy. Are you coming home tonight? Are you, are you guys coming home tonight? Are you coming home tonight? Okay. I'll well, have fun. That's funny. Some girl comes down here from North Jersey. That's where the scumbags moved up to from here. After they after they pretended to be my friend, they, they hit, the mother and the son took off to North Jersey. I guess got to know everybody up North Jersey. Now the North Jersey assholes are trying to help these people keep my son's identity, steal my son's identity. So, anyway. Not very I'm not Billy. I stole his life. Yeah, okay. I'm glad I, it's, when I catch up to the person who actually stole my son's life, he, I don't care if you're a fucking 10th degree black belt. Oh, well, I've got fast feet. Good. Dinner. I'm cooking dinner, getting ready to cook dinner soon. Nice twist, girl. I didn't see that coming. So anyway, trying to straighten up a little bit. I got toys all over my table. It makes it look messy. See that? It's toys. I'd rather have it just that. Oh, that's alright. I don't care. No big deal. No big deal. I guess I'm gonna this away. Praise God. I will keep praising God and thanking Him for every good thing that He's doing with my life. Incident-based reporting, yes. Incident reporting. Do you know how many incidents I've had reported over the last three years? Because of what these scumbags have done to me? I started reporting June 12th, 2013. It was raining that day. I just got done because I knew his father was pulling some shit down at the goddamn storybook land class trip. So as soon as I got done that class trip, I went right to the police station. I went to the police station and started f trying to file something. Trying to figure out what the cops can do to help me figure out what was going on. Okay? Now, but before that, my doctor, Detective Wilden had my son going up there because 
Again, Cheyenne, one of my sister's foster kids. His father shot her or shot somebody, something about a gun. Okay, so Detective Wilden wanted to interview my, my son and ask him some questions about some letter that Cheyenne wrote him. Okay, so that's how I got involved in talking to De Detective Wilden, Bryn Wilden, from up there at the Gloucester County Prosecutor's Office. So meanwhile, um, I get involved with that. So I talked to him about what's going on and what my theories were, thinking that the doctors, I was going to go see, a, get the doctors in the, in the, in the courtroom. I was going to go after the doctors that did my orthopedic surgeries and my, um, which was Dr. Gibson and Dr. Um, Bundance was the ones that did my one more, my orthopedic surgery and my insides, my hysterectomy. But I decided not to do that because I realized it wasn't the doctors that did that. It's the people, whatever. I was going to try to get them in the courtroom in order to uh, ask them questions about what has actually been done to me. So back to Bren Wilden. To the world. So Dr. Bryn Wooden said, make me a list of your doctor's names and email it to me. I emailed it to him through my Yahoo email, which they stole. Everything they stole from Pondley Hockey to Maple Shades emails, everything. from my They stole all my emails from Yahoo emails to Hotmail emails to everything. That's fine. They linked in. They linked in all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my professor has me going on these uh, business help get business or, or employment things, and they're one of the main ones that they want your information and they steal it from you. Uh, Intel us uh, all those ones that I went on there for my college class. Didn't realize I'm putting my information on there and they're stealing it right off. No big deal. I put my birth date and my year is because nobody's going to say anything different. Because there's people in the town of Franklinville whose birthday is August 23rd, but they're not born on 1972. These assholes are not born on 19, in 1972, August 23rd. So, but anyway... So like I said, I had Brim Wilden come down in 2013. So I started doing, go. I have a lot of incident reports from 2013 all the way up until that last one when that new cop came out. I don't know his name. If I seen him, he's got a tattoo on his arm. That's all I got to say because I looked at it and I said, nice tat. I, I have the, the video footage of it when he came out. So all I have to do is ask go back and look at the footage but um I wanted to I made I made a an incident report what was it about my son about my computer because I showed him hmm might have been my phone number anyway but I have quite a few incident reports. And that, that's not including, I didn't even call the one when I came home one day. My bird bath, the, the shit, my bird bath, somebody came in my yard and knocked that over. This is, now this is heavy. This was knocked over over to there. My, this, cause it comes off, it was knocked over there. It was knocked over, that was knocked over. That stuff was knocked over. Shit in my garden was broke. That's not inc that's not including that. I haven't even included that in the reports. Nothing. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Peace be with us. Truth be told. May justice be served. And hope is in front of me and my children. And I have to let the world know. The world's going to know the whole truth. And something's got to be done. Thanks, God.